thank you very much for watching Dynasty for the past three months and yes, it has been quite a journey and uh, for the concluding act, we will have a feature uh, on uh, No Shave November. So we do hope that you enjoy and if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click on the, uh, on the subscribe button right below you and become a member of this channel and remember to always keep it Dynasty. Hey guys, it's back at Dynasty and today we're talking about no shoot, no but, but I don't have a beard, but I'll go on and then participate in the shoot November. So I have guests and his name is Shiv. I don't know if there are many shaves in Kenya, but this one participates in the shoot November. So Shiv. Yeah. Simani. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so do you? Um, I'd say I participate by the fact that I do raise awareness about the fact that we should get screened and get checked for the various, and this is mental health issues yeah. basically, I just raise awareness about the need for the man to get um, our issues, but do I participate in terms of shaving at the beginning of the month and then not shaving at the end of the month, not really because I grow a beard all through the year. Are you participating in your shave November? Um, I'm not going to shave at the end of the month, but I have just been raising awareness through my social media. Um, I'm in partnership with Mandevo and they are really big on men's issues and men's health. So yes, I partner with them to help raise our issues, whether it's mental health, whether it's prostate cancer, uh, yeah. Do you think No Shave November is given much thought about like we have breast cancer awareness, we have yeah. all these other stuff we do? I don't think it's given as much airtime, if I may say, um, as maybe Breast Cancer Month. Um, I don't know if it's just because of the fact that it's kind of a new thing in Kenya, in yeah, in this community, in our community, people see it as a big issue, but it is a big issue. So it's not given the airtime I think it should be given, and either way, I don't think it should just be given airtime in one month, whether it's breast cancer or anything. I think all these things should be talked about throughout the year. Um, yeah. Did you know that Middle Shape November participates in, it's, it's actually for raising awareness about Middle cancer? Yeah, prostate cancer, mental illness. Um, yeah, um, basically all men. So, um, what happens is how we raise awareness with this month is you're supposed to grow a moustache actually for the month of November and um, donate to the organization. It's a worldwide organization, Movember.com. So, you donate, and now they are the ones who help um, the organizations or foundations however they can. So growing the beard is just to raise the awareness for the fact that you've donated and you've helped spread the awareness of these issues that are, these issues are uh, basically. So the Mandevo, um, I don't know, association? Um, yeah, so Mandevo is a company that deals with men's um, grooming products, uh, basically. So why, why so pricey? Why so pricey? Pricey is relative. Okay. Yeah. But okay, how much do the products go for? Depends on what products you're looking for, but you can get, I think you can get a whole set for around 5,000, 6,000 shillings. And um, yeah. Okay. Have you ever gone for screening yourself? No, I have not. You've not? No. But one time I tried um, a year ago, I was told. I'm too young and they didn't those they didn't really have time for me, so it's like I think. When did you go for screening? We had an event, though that was an event that um, we were doing screening. Um, 
I've only done breast cancer screening. I've never done prostate cancer screening. They don't usually even ask you to do it until you hit the age of 40 because I personally haven't heard of cases of anyone being affected by prostate cancer below the age of 40. Do you think the of November has created an impact when it comes to men going for screening? Do you think it has? I hope, I hope so. I should think it has. I mean, if at the beginning of the month, this is all you're hearing everywhere, whether it's on social media or on the radio, and you're of a certain age or a family history of um, these illnesses, then yeah, I would think about it. And if we had all that equipment here, yeah. and you to screening, yeah. would you go for it? Because yeah. people talk about how creepy it is. And it is, but yeah, as a human, yeah, obviously you feel a bit nervous about it, but I would. I'd rather know than not know. Uh -huh. I want you to look at Brian. Yeah. Um, would you advise? You yeah. Advise? So, if you have a history of whether it's mental illness, whether it's a cancer in your family, um, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and you feel like, or you you know you know there's a history, or you just feel like you need to get checked, get checked. That's simple. My name is Serge. I think Michelle November is actually a very interesting thing. Yeah? I've actually done it with some friends of mine, you know, just as banter, yeah, to, to see who could, who could grow beard more in a month. And it was just good. Pure banter, a nice thing you do with the boys, just for fun. Who won? Uh, I won, man. <laughs> Clearly. Yes, I know about Lo November and I love the idea behind Lo November. Because I mean, like it's supporting um, men with cancer. Yes. So I, I love the idea behind it. How about guys with beards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Charity Kosasi. I'm a general practitioner at Bliss Daystar. Ideally, the definition is in the name. It's a cancer that targets the prostate, which is found in men. But when you want a deeper meaning, it is a mutation of normal cells. Like the, those cells build to, to function in a specific way. And then these cells decide to grow larger and become more in the system. That's when they form the cancer. Men don't like having anything go through their rectum. So before you convince someone to do that test and they don't have any symptom or complaint, it becomes kind of tricky. It's easy to do the DRE test, which is more convenient in most facilities. That is the digital rectal exam. Do you think there is enough awareness in the country about this disease? Lately, I'd say the, the, there is not enough, but they're trying. Because you can have advertisements and people are talking about it, but uh, it hasn't reached the level it's supposed to be. What do you recommend if a male is diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer? I would recommend they visit a urologist or an oncologist available because that's when they'll be able to know their treatment plans, which stage of cancer it is, and their prognosis. There is hope for those who get diagnosed with the disease, prostate cancer, but only if they catch the disease at its early stages. But most of the people who are diagnosed they usually get to know about it quite late because first the disease is not symptomatic at early stages. So I only encourage people to have the necessary tests soon enough so that when the disease is caught up early they can get the appropriate treatment and a better prognosis. Hi guys and thank you very much for watching. It really does not matter whether if you keep uh, a beard or you're growing one just like myself or maybe you know you're just into hair. As long as you partake in not shaving your hair and contributing that money to more shave November to make sure that uh, you support patients and survivors of prostate cancer. Now without further ado, 
guys we have to end this season uh, real quick now if you've not subscribed to this channel make sure you click on the subscribe button right below you and uh, we do have to say from our group Merry Christmas have a blessed new year and catch you up in January with our new season of Dynasty you know keep it Dynasty now we are so that time smile Expectation, yeah. Expectation, yeah. Woo! Nice, good, good.